Drive Beyond Horizons is a newly released 2025 title built on the Unreal Engine 5. And these are the game's minimum system requirements. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the maximum possible performance out of it on a low-end PC. If you've been struggling with lag or low FPS, don't worry, I've got you covered. We'll go through step-by-step -step tweaks and settings to help you run the game smoothly even on weaker hardware. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. To start things off, I'm running the game on my integrated graphics. In the graphics settings, I've selected the performance preset, disabled the grain effect, set anti-aliasing to FXAA, and kept the resolution at 1080p. V-Sync is turned off, and the FPS cap is set to 120. With these settings applied, let's see how the game performs. It's playable to some extent, though not perfect. Since the game is still in its early access phase, performance issues are pretty normal. But if you're still facing lag or stuttering, don't worry. Stay with me until the end of this video, because I'll show you a powerful graphical tweak that can drastically improve performance on low-end systems. So now let's close the game and move on to the next step to start tweaking it for better results. The configuration file for this game is located in your hidden app data folder. Navigate to Local, Drive Beyond Horizons folder, Saved, Config, then Windows. Once you're there, open the Game User Settings file using Notepad. We'll begin with the Scalability Group section. The first variable here controls the resolution scaler of the game. The lower the value, the more pixelated the visuals will be, but you'll get better FPS. But I'm going to leave this one as it is. Now go ahead and disable the rest of the graphical properties by setting them all to zero. Next, you'll find two variables that control the game's screen resolution. The good news is that the game supports custom resolutions, so I'm setting it to 960 by 540 for better performance. And that's all we can do in this file. So after making these changes, save the file and make sure to set its attributes to read-only to prevent the game from overwriting it. Now let's jump back in and see the results. And as you can see, the tweaks gave me a noticeable FPS boost. The game runs even smoother when I'm not recording the screen, but we're not done yet. There's one more trick that can help push the performance even further. So, go back to the game's configuration folder, and this time open the engine file using Notepad. Now just paste in the variables I've added here. I won't go into detail about what each line does since it would take too long, but don't worry. You can download both the pre-edited game user settings and engine files from the video description below. So, once you've made the changes, save the file and set it to read-only to prevent the game from overwriting it. Now let's launch the game again. And yep, there's a clear improvement in performance. Keep in mind, the FPS is even higher when I'm not screen recording. You could also enable ultra-low potato graphics for extra frames, but I honestly don't recommend it. It makes the game look really bad. Just remember, Drive Beyond Horizons is still in early access, so some performance hiccups are normal. Anyway, that's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and also share it with your low-end gamer friends so they can enjoy smoother gameplay too. And I'll see you all again in the next video. So until then, take care and peace out.